Live look at Squaw Valley tonight where there's some concern. New information today on the state of the snow pack. There's uh, not much of it. Meteorologist Darren Peck here to break it down. Darren? Ken, for obvious reasons, the snowpack in the Sierra is kind of at the front lines for the changes happening here in our state from climate change. But what's happened over the last three weeks has raised eyebrows of researchers. It looks fine when you look at it on the satellite, but you've got to actually look within the snowpack to measure what the water content of it is. How much water is it storing? On April 1st, we were at 63% of average. That was the big snowpack report. We would have liked more, but 63% wasn't that bad. Today, it's at 37%. That's a huge drop. And those numbers should have stayed about the same because we're just talking about where's the water content right now for what would be average for today's date. To lose that much is unprecedented. In fact, if you look at the sensors across the Sierra here, the ones that have red circles on them, those are the locations in the Sierra which just set the record for the fastest loss of water content since we've been keeping records for these first three weeks of April. There's a lot that goes into this, but the number one culprit behind this is how warm we were for the month of April. These are the temperatures for the month. All the deep shades of red show a state that was, for the most part, four degrees above average. That's a big jump when you're talking about a whole month. I'll be back with the rest of